All right, what is up, your buddy Andre? Fat back at another video. Okay, today we'll be talking about this is a review. Okay, we're back at it with the reviews. And like, we're back at it with the reviews. Um, I, this is my first time taking notes, so I'm gonna get a thorough review this time. And yeah, this is the Baddies Caribbean Auditions Part One. Okay, let's get right into it. So, I feel like this episode, um, it wasn't. It is the same concept, but it wasn't as bad. Like it felt like kind of short a little bit as far as the auditions go. Like I wanna say it was like about six rounds of girls that they uh went through and the rest of it was like I don't know, they really took up all the time with the six rounds of girls. So it wasn't like a lot, but um like it it kept me entertained. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we had some rich makers in the beginning, um, you know, saying blood clots, stuff like that. Um, they had a girl who looked like Slim, like a better version of Slim, to be honest. And then all of a sudden, we see Slim come on the scene, looking busted, disgusted, sweaty, talking about, yeah, I'm looking for Natalie Nunn. Yeah, with well, my real is Natalie Nunn. Where's she at? I want to check that chin. Girl. Everybody, everybody with the real is Natalie Nunn. Like, for what? Like, what's the beef? What's the beef between Slim and, like, Slim, Slim and Natalie Nunn? If y'all know, drop in the comment, because it's like, it just come out of random. It's come out of, like, their ass. It come out of nowhere. Like, for real, I'm, like, so confused. Um, we see the girls twerking. Same old, same old. Um, we see Wet Wet. We see Tokyo. We see Just Britney. Um, hopefully, we see them probably in part two, I think. You know? I think because Wet Wet, Wet Wet, did she end up fighting Slim? I don't know if they showed it, but I think Wet Wet fought Slim eventually. But, yeah. Um, okay, then all the badges come out. So, we have Anna in this green moment. Like, I feel like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I feel like all the badges that came out looked a hot ass mess like Anna come out in this green moment I wasn't really feeling it Sapphire came out trying to look all poised I can't be her the same she took that up from ET um, Mariah Lynn come out in this outfit looked like she got it from the boutique or online somewhere um, Biggie came out looking the mess per usual though not too much I love Biggie but she do be looking the mess and she do be looking manly and she come out the car yelling like you know how most girls get out there to get out the um the car like with their legs closed, big come out her legs open. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, y'all? Like, I get you hype, but like, it just, it just don't it get manly. <laughs> Janisha, uh, now I can't say Janisha looked good. She like she was prepared for the Caribbean auditions. Like that was the only girl that really looked good to me. Um, I was confused on why Bobby Lights was there. Um, I guess it was like a secondary host. Like, I was confused when I first saw him. I was like, why is Bobby Lights here? But he is from Miami, so I guess it go hand in hand. Um, Shansia come out in this denim jumpsuit. I feel like she could have came harder. Like, that's something you would wear, like, to a war show, possibly. You know? Like, Ice Spice head on, you know, just a little denim. What was that? For the Grammys, I think? Um, Spice had on a Dior shirt and some pants. Um... She could have came harder, like how she dressed up for her concerts. There needs to be how she dressed up for Zeus Network for these baddies auditions. Like, don't go simple. Like, one thing I can say, one person that do dress every time for the baddies or anything on Zeus is Nene. Like, Nene Leaks. Like, Nene Leaks put that shit on, like, <laughs> every time. Like, she had on a, a green jumpsuit for the man. She come out in this, what was it? I think it was like a Balenciaga um, shirt, dress. Thing, but it, it looked good. Like she always known to wear good outfits. Like I can appreciate that. At least that's how I seen any leaks on Zeus Network. Okay, and now they come out. She looked good. She looked playful. She had a little skirt on. She had the little buns or whatever. Like she looked good. Um, let's go down these notes. Some girls really can't dress for the Caribbean auditions. Like one girl had like a fence all over her, which I can appreciate because it's just bad Caribbeans. Like I want to see the. The Jamaicans, the, the overseas girls, the islanders. I want to see all y'all come to fruition. Hopefully, we get to see it on the season, which I highly doubt we're going to see it. But, yeah, none of this. Hey, and that's what we're here for. Like, bad discrimination audition. Like, let's get it. Um. So, I guess the girl, like, was messed up or whatever, like, drunk. And her friend was like, hey, I'm going to get back in line. Like, <laughs> like, hey, we here at the auditions. Like, I would do the same thing, like. The drunk friend had an ambulance come out and everything. She was just slumped in the car. And, like, it was, like, a lot going on. Um, we see, like, a couple fights. Scotty came out looking like a hoochie. They had Daisy there. Like, is she auditioning? Like, did she have to wait in line like Slim? Like, what did it give? They had some white grandma in the auditions. Um, 
some girl called out DJ Sky and Krishan. She was like, if y'all want me on here, let me know. But we don't know who you is. We don't even make the T page. It's like, who are you? Like, we don't know who she is for real. Like, if y'all know her coming, but I don't think we know her. Um, Damo from One Chance of Love or what was it called? Um, One More Chance came out to audition again. So when we get to auditions, I ain't gonna lie, the girls actually look cute in the auditions. Like, Biggie changed her outfit. She looked cute. She had her nails on, her chain on, her lipstick on. And um, I love when Biggie's like, hi, queen. Like, <laughs> she said that when she came in the house with Rosie. She was like, hey, queens. She said something like that. Hey, queens. And she was like, I did call your girls queens. I did say hi, queens. Like, I love when she Biggie just be herself. Um, we get to these auditions. I ain't gonna lie to Siki look good. Um, Anna looked good. And Sapphire, she just looked like like her makeup was dry. It was bland. It wasn't shiny. It wasn't like the normal Sapphire. I don't know if it's because she took that L from ET. Like I'm looking at her different. But like she just looked bland and like like casket ready. Like her makeup wasn't hidden and she just looked plain. <clears throat> okay. Um Tasiki looked cute too, but she was over it after like a while. One girl quit her job and said um her job knows that she quit. So I wonder, like, what does her job think of her now that they see her on audition and she probably not going to get picked for the show? Like, <laughs> like, like what? Like, at least if you're going to quit your job, like, come in your best fit, you know, so you can actually, you know, be a thought and maybe get picked, you know, or do something outlandish. I don't know, like, half y'all know they're not going to get picked. Like, we can tell who's going to get picked and who's not going to get picked. Like, I'm supposed to get me. Um... <clears throat> Oh, when they all came in, like, when all the, like, the rounds of girls coming in, like, I want to say it was about six rounds, and, like, they all just came in talking, like, where was the mics, where was the, like, it was, like, a whole bunch of, of uh, like, a catastrophic event going on, like, when all the girls were talking, like, it was a lot going on, like, where was they mics, like, they couldn't tell them, like, come in one by one, I don't know, like, at least talk one by one before y'all get up there, like, I don't know, it was, it was a mess, it was a mess. Um, so the baby mama of Antonio Brown came to the audition saying she, I'm the baby mama that's on baby daddy, but she didn't look rich. She looked like she had no money. She looked busted and disgusted. <laughs> like, where's the funds at? Like, <laughs> I'm confused. Um, <clears throat> so the girl named Callie from Orlando, she didn't catch Biggie attention. So, uh, like Biggie was paying her, she was like, next, next, next. Like she was paying her dust. And so another girl hit her, ended up getting a ticket. Um, did she hit her for the ticket? What made her hit her? Like, for real, for real. And um, she came up to the stage trying to talk to Biggie. Biggie threw a drink at her, and Anna tried to run up on her. Anna said, if you can talk better than Scotty, um, you can get a ticket. And the girl said, Scotty, right on up. <laughs> I'm like, go out to y'all. Scotty couldn't move much in that dress. Um, it was a girl named Ock. I feel like she gave, like, real bitch energy, like, she was she was real. We need that on bands. Like we need like a real bitch. Like she gave like real raw, like real, just real thorough. Like a like a BGC seven. No, seven's kind of boring. Just, let's say she gave real. She gave like a cash doll energy. Yeah, cash doll. If she was humble, like not even, when she's not talking about money, that type of cash doll. Like she just gave like real bitch energy. I hope this making sense to y'all. <laughs> These are my examples. Um, it was this girl called the Real Jamaican Barbie. She from Jamaica. Um, you know, hopefully they pick these girls from Jamaica. You know, these girls overseas for for real. Uh, they give a lot of Jamaicans tickets though. Um, it was some big black girl like with this little afro. She said she was a stripper. She was tall by the way. She said she was a stripper, and when she bent down and twerking it. It didn't give like nothing. She she didn't even bend down all the way and was, was twerking like nothing was there. Like it didn't give at all. And you no, know, like the look was just no, like, no. Um Tasiki was over it the whole time. I feel like y'all called Tasiki y'all fan favorite, but she has these moments where she just is over it and she like to show out and, and talk trash all of a sudden and like how she did the reunion with E. T. like I don't know. I feel like if Tasiki had like more of a personality like Sky, 
you know, only snap when it was necessary. I feel like she could be more likable, but she just be spazzing for nothing like, half the time. That's what I feel like. Um, one girl tried to be like Razor talking about, I said I'm banning everybody and nobody, uh, s nobody snapped. First of all, nobody heard you say that. So, <laughs> everybody was talking over each other. So, don't even try to have like a Razor moment. Like, a girl came in the same outfit as Biggie. <laughs> They gave her a ticket, and then at the end of it, they asked, like, who look better? And the girl said, she do. And Biggie was like, don't get your ticket taken away. Like, I'm so happy for Biggie. She's actually getting her shine this season. Like, I love, like, we get to see Biggie is coming out of her shell. Like, no more Stunner Girl. Uh, I still like Stunner Girl, but, like, I feel like if Stunner Girl gets around Biggie and Biggie gets around Stunner Girl, Biggie's going to have this attitude and... I don't know, like, you know how the energy when you don't for somebody in the room with you, so you automatically close down. Like, I feel like that'd be Biggie. And, hey, I think I'm the same way, like, I can't blame her. Um, it was a Spanish girl that whooped this girl in the back who said she was a rapper and she went viral. Um, I feel like the Spanish girl was really about it. She really gave it up. Like, we need a Spanish girl on baddies that's going to actually be about it and give it up. Just, like, flat back from one more chance, like, for sure. Um, Monet from South Central Baddies was on there. It was a wet, wet dupe, um, just thawing everybody. And she ended up finding a girl. And then they ended up finding out like the wet, wet dupe was E.T. friend. So they got into it with her, um, her and Anna. And Tiki was like, anybody can find my little sister. So she tried to fight the little girl. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, Tiki be having these random moments. Like, what's your purpose? Like, tch, I'm over it. <laughs> um, one girl came with a little speaker and she was rapping. Like, I feel like that was original. We've never seen that before. It was a stud who got talked over the whole time and still managed to get a ticket. I don't. I didn't really gain much from that stud. Like, and it just didn't give him. She still got a ticket. Um. Then at the end, this girl named Zoe introduced herself and asked Biggie, do they have beef? Um, I don't know if they ended like this, but Biggie was like, she was like, she was focusing in while the girl was talking. So like, do you have, do you do we got beef? And Biggie was like, like I don't know if they edited it like that, but this is what they made it seem like. So the, they made after that after Biggie was looking like that, the girl threw water bottle at her or water at her, and Biggie dug down and all the girls ended up fighting and I got about this season end up to commence on the girl. Um, that was the end. It was a good ending. Um, next episode is gonna be more tricks. We get to see DTB fight and she was on that ground and I'm like so confused because. It's big DTB around here. Like, we team DTB around here. Like, like what? Like, why is you on the ground? Why is you on the ground? Like, are you not embarrassed? Like, the video. <laughs> like, are you not embarrassed? And then we get to see uh, Amber and Chanel fight or whatever. <sighs> this is my review for Baddies Caribbean Auditions Part 1. I will, do, I will be doing a Part 2. And I'm finna do this bad versus wild. Well. Hopefully it's good. We're finna get into some things. I already tried to subscribe more videos like this. Do y'all big on the comments. And I'm out. Peace.